This is Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley here at Premier Palace, about to get touched up. Been in training camp. As you see, I look like a werewolf, so I want to make sure I get all cleaned up, you know. Y'all ain't made nothing. You made the ceiling deep all the time. Hey man, y'all haven't even played man, nobody, man. I had some people wonder. It's funny you see generations. I got three sons. They all been coming here getting their haircut. I was getting my haircut when I was 10 years old. Now I'm 31. So when I compete, I always try to look fresh, try to get a haircut. You know, because it's business, you know. He one of the guys that we knew that as young as he was, as focused as he was, even in, in high school, I mean he was one of the best football players at the high school. Whatever he did, he always excelled to the top. We've been there since his first fight, and we, we still go keep watching. In these streets in St. Louis, you don't see a lot of young blacks that tend to stay away from the elements on the outside that tend to snare our children in our community. But it's, it's good to see. We just wrapped up, got the fresh haircut, as you see. A lot different than when we went in. I was looking like Team Wolf. Now I'm looking like I'm fresh and ready to get some good training in, so. Welcome to ATT Evolution. This is where all the magic happens at. Uh, we're gonna get in here today, work on some focus mitts, get my hand, speed, time, and footwork. Um, I like to visualize my opponent and um, make his space and smash in his face, so. stay mobile in that cage so that's what we did today we did a lot of movement a lot of timing worked on his combinations I basically worked with his hands you know a professional boxer and a professional trainer and um, my side of the equation for his training is just getting his hands ready boxing is really rhythm and um, if you're a person with rhythm and you got the patience the way I think about training I, I tackle it in a different mindset you know for me it's a, it's a competition He's a smart fighter, man. I mean, he, he catches on really, really fast. He's probably one of the smartest guys I've ever trained in regards to that aspect of learning and, and understanding what he needs to do. You know, in the time that we've been together, he's he's definitely adapted, he's learned, and, and he's developed, you know, with and without me, so. Workout one for today. Got some pad work in, working on my timing. Make sure my hands and feet are moving fast. As you see, I probably got half the Mississippi River on my shirt. And uh, I'm gonna get some water, uh, take a shower, I'm gonna take you guys to the best Vietnamese restaurant in the Midwest, Miley's. We're gonna get some good eating and we're gonna get ready for round two. This is Kui. How you guys doing? The man with the master plan, a good friend of mine. Um, always take care of me. He's a martial artist as well. Walter well Wake, next month, well UFC champ right here. We love Tyron here in St. Louis. You know, we want to support, you know, anything local. You, know, you got to feed the champ, you know. And plus, he can beat me up pretty easily. So, you know, I got to you know, keep these guys happy, you know. The last thing I want to do is get in a match with this guy, you know, with Tyron Woodley, so. <laughs> if you notice, all the, all the dishes look really clean and really healthy. Sometimes you eat some Asian cuisine and it, it looks a little greasy sometimes. Like, I don't know if this is good for me, but, you know, the broccoli steam just right. The steak is on point. We got a lot to eat here, so we're going to get, get at it. We just got done eating at Mike Lee's. Um, had to introduce you guys to some really good St. Louis eating. Now we're going over to pick my son up for school and then um, get some more training in. Some days I don't feel like training. Some days I don't want to fight. Some days, you know, I don't want to run. I don't want to get up, you know. And um, I think that's a part of being human. I just really gotta mentally spiritually, physically be in tune. I gotta be able to think why I'm fighting for. I gotta see me get my hand raised. When I'm training, I gotta be able to take myself mentally, usually always in music, that kinda to give me an opportunity to reflect on, you know, why I'm doing it. We wanna pick up the oldest of the whippersnappers. It's the big brother, the nine-year-old. So we're gonna pick him up. I haven't seen him in a couple weeks, so. Me, I fight for my family. I fight for, for my mom who sacrificed everything so that I could be where I'm at today. My family and my sons, all they know is champion. All they know is number one. They don't know anything else. Their entire life, they're gonna be raised to be champions, whether it's in life, in sports, in, as a husband, as a sibling. Everything that I teach them, you know, is to be the best.
It's time to get some work in, as we call it. Um, it's our term of sparring, getting good work in, getting ready for the fight. Nothing simulates a fight better than actual sparring with punches. For me, you know, I like to do several rounds with different types of partners, anybody who can simulate my opponents. So today you guys got a chance to see what my day to day is like. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more ballistic. So appreciate you guys having me, Stack Media, Stack Magazine. Um, look forward to seeing you guys soon in the future. Thanks again.